What's going on, everybody? My truckers, what's going on? So, hey, real quick, man, are y'all tired of people using us in this industry? There are people out there that say they're for us, but when rubber meets the road, they're not for us. So check this out. That's a dispatcher on Instagram, Renee underscore Rose underscore 18. I reached out to this individual because I like what she was doing, coming out the truck, truck stops and talking to drivers, right? I tried to talk to her and try to and wanted to interview her. She wouldn't even talk to me or let me interview her unless I bought a course or a book or something from her. So my question is, guys, let's hold her accountable. She likes to come out here to these truck stops and talk to drivers, right? Make her buy y'all some fuel. Make her buy y'all a gallon worth of fuel before y'all get an interview from her, all right? Secondly, how many of you drivers out there feel the same way I feel about Bucky's? Bucky's don't care nothing about truckers, but they get their fuel. We carry their fuel and we drop it off to them, don't we? Guys, I have a real bad Bucky's experience. Load shifted on me. I pulled over at a Bucky's. This was my rookie year, 2015. Pulled over at a Bucky's. Didn't really know what Bucky's was. Pulled over. Went in the back, hopped in the back, checked my load out, got it all straightened up, put some more load locks on it. Boy, you would have thought I killed somebody or ran over somebody. They harassed the hell out of me. So ever since 2015, I have not stepped foot inside a Bucky's. Even if I'm in my regular car, I have not. And I will not. It's dirty how they do us. I'm at the pilot. Guess what? Pilot, we got commercial parking. And we got general public parking. We share. So why they can't share with us? It's time to start boycotting Bucky's, Walmart for the yellow uh, poles that they got up on them, on us. Guys, I'm serious about this. Also, check this out. Factoring. Do y'all know why factoring is winning these days? First of all, factoring only operates between 1% to 5%. Well, they should, but there's other people out there taking more and people that are charging the actual five percent that's a lot but check this out the only reason factoring is able to exist first of all it's only a bank that's what y'all really need to realize and understand it's only a bank number one to get you by number two because we don't have no working capital if we have working capital guess what we could wait the 16, 17, the 30, the 60 days. Net 30, net 60. We could wait that out if we had working capital. But don't y'all feel like that's weird that we have to, I, when I drop a load, I want my money now, right? You want your money now or the next day. But they got accounts payable and all that. I'll even wait a week, but 30 days, 60 days to answer an invoice. Let's fight against that guys. So guess what? Get you some working capital so we can stop dealing with these factoring companies. Yeah, they're good, but they're only good because we're lazy. We don't have no working capital. That's what happens when you take cheap freight and you don't save your money as well. That's what happens, guys. That's what happens when you calculate your CPM, your cost per mile, and let's say that you can, let's say your cost per mile is $1.90. Or let's say your cost per mile is $1.50 or $1.30. If you're taking a load, if you see a load on the load board for $1.50, you only profited 20 cents. Now let's say if you blow a tire, like the old school truck driver told us, told us about. If you blow a tire, guess what? You got no wiggle room because you only profited 20 cents. You took cheap freight. Come on guys, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. High brokerage fees, for quick pay, we got to do better. So I'm just out here educating, educating, talking to some truckers, talking to some old school truckers, getting more education myself, because I don't know everything. But guess what? We're going to learn together and we're going to get this done. Also, did y'all know that a CDL belonged to the government? But back in the day, they had a Class A. Class A was different from a CDL. Did y'all know that? Look it up. Look it up. So if we try to strike, that's why we need to unionize. Because if we try to strike, guess what? The government can come at us. But if we unionize, stand together, 
and say, guess what, guys? We just gonna stay home. We're not gonna work today. There's always a way around the system. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this video. I'm always bringing good knowledge, good education. Hey, if I'm saying something wrong, y'all challenge me. Look it up, do your research, and let's talk about it, all right? Y'all take care.